This is the new MacBook Air with the M2 CPU and this is Liftoff Simulator. If you are into FPV drones, you definitely know about the Liftoff Simulator. Now, how is this simulator going to work on this new MacBook Air with M2 CPU? Well, at first glance, it looks like it is a little bit laggy, but of course, that uh, the resolution is at maximum and all the details when you enter first time the games came at maximum so i'm just gonna decrease the resolution now and see how is this laptop going to deal with the liftoff simulator of course i have before the mac mini m1 and the uh, liftoff was doing very bad compared to this even if it's only a little bit of uh, improvement over the graphics with the m2 compared to m1 uh, in the game, it actually looks like a massive improvement. Of course, in the meantime, the game was actually updated to work better with uh, this um, new CPU. But with the MacBook Air uh, M2, this has a passive cooling. So it doesn't have any cooler inside the laptop, which means that at the moment when the temperature will need a certain degree, like 65-70 degrees Celsius, the performance will drop from the CPU just to make sure it will not overheat. And how is this going to affect the liftoff simulator? Of course, I also have here a cooler underneath the laptop, but uh, this cooler is not at the moment activated. We will activate it later to see if it makes any kind of thermal difference. But for now, the laptop is actually getting hot. I don't have any kind of programs to show me the real temperature, but it is hot. And besides, uh, just to mention, this MacBook Air with M2 CPU, it is with 8 cores GPU and only 8 GB of RAM, so it is the stock version. The game doesn't look that bad and um, it is becoming a little bit choppy, but a very little when the performance of the CPU is going to be dropped, but it doesn't make much difference in terms of performance. And as well, please keep in mind that I have uh, the MacBook Air only on battery power and it's not co connected to the AC plug. Well, with MacBooks, it actually doesn't make a big difference if it's on uh, battery power or plugged in because more or less the performance is about the same. Let me plug in this power bank so we can see if it makes any difference in thermal. Now let's change the map and see how this works. Of course, that with some map, they have quite a lot of details to load, so at the beginning, you should expect some time to deal with uh, bad performance and performance issues and the um, game to be very choppy and actually unplayable, but once this loads up, it shouldn't make a much difference. And now, let me drop the details to the absolute minimum and see how is this game working, the liftoff simulator with actually minimum details. The resolution I will keep it quite decent, I don't want to drop to the lowest one. Ok and to be a, like a fair comparison, I'm gonna also disconnect active cooling so we leave the MacBook heat up even more, but even up, up until now it makes only very little difference in thermals. With minimum details actually the game is very fluent, it still has a little bit of uh, performance issues, maybe because I also have only 8GB of RAM and the computer is very hot but um, the game is very playable and this is of course lift off simulator so i don't stress about the performance issues if you have with the mebo air m2 even the, the base version the stock version and you want to start training in fpv with lift off simulator of course i will um, do another video with some other simulators in the future to cover everything it's about to train on FPV from a MacBook computer, specifically from a MacBook Air M2 with no active cooling. Alright everyone, uh, thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please give us a thumbs because it helps us with the algorithm and I hope to see you next time.